Hello, so this is Apostle Deanna Dixon again. So I had another quick um, testimony. I um, have a pastor here in Mississippi. And so long story short, um, I was sitting up there just preaching to some other people. And um, he actually came and found me. I don't know how he found me, but he did. He found me. And I tell you, that man stopped me and he said, um, who are you? And of course, I told him. And he's actually affiliated with Bishop I think, um, no, actually Apostle Wiley in Detroit, Michigan. Well, anyway, I was just astounded how this man, and understand this is not about me, but how I was astounded how this man, he came looking for me and he, he ended up finding me. He, he knew what kind of car I was in and everything. And I tell you, he said, I, I just want you to pray with me. He said, I, I just want to feel the power of God again in my life. He said, um, and he talked to me about some things that was going on in his ministry. And he is a pastor. He does have his own church. Um, I won't say the name here in Mississippi, but I just want you to know that when you see someone with a connection to God, um, this man chased. All right. Now understand, it was not about him chasing me. It was something that he saw in the spirit realm. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm trying to get to a point here. We have to stop allowing ourselves to be stopped by the natural and going to the supernatural. God is doing something in these latter days. And the reason why the church is missing it is because you're not in the spirit to be start with. Oh, come on, somebody. It is time for the church to get out of church. Come on, somebody. We the church. We're the temple. What am I saying? God is trying to put everybody back into perspective. The oracles of God says that I can have the presence of God in my home. I can have the presence of God in my car. I can have the presence of God everywhere I go on my job. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. And all I'm saying is that it's time for us to understand how to really walk in the presence of God, in the spirit of God, in the anointing of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And a lot of people don't understand that because they don't want to take the time to spend with God. That This is... This is a timing thing. This is a relationship thing. This is a falling in love with God. This is a get to knowing God. You know how you love a man or a woman? Come somebody, you're quick to do that, but you won't spend the time in prayer. You won't spend the time in a threshing floor. You won't go all night in prayer. You won't, You know what I'm saying? I bet you if you need a job, if you need a car, if you need money, come on somebody, you'll pray all night. Well, that's where the church got to go back. We got to start loving God. We got to start putting our all before God. We got to start chasing after God. It doesn't matter matter about who, what, or when, but we got to start chasing after God. That's what this is all about. God is requiring it in this last hour. God bless you. Chase after God. And when you chase after God, the anointing of God will actually rest on you inside of your spirit. People will see it. You ain't got to put a show on. You ain't got to tell them. They'll see it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you and be a God chaser, not a man chaser. In Jesus' name.